Hello, and welcome to another edition of Slugs. In this episode, I will build a wonky cold frame, a bee house and some indoor plant stands. But first, let's see how the veg is doing. Let me tell you something. You know when someone says, nah, you shouldn't do that, and you're like, well, you know, that's what I'm going to do. When it comes to planting seeds, you probably want to listen to the experts. Things are growing nicely, but the courgettes are almost flowering, and they are tiny and nowhere near ready to go outside. So definitely only start planting them late March at the earliest. Aside from that, there's a lot of happiness going on right here. This is the seed area, which doesn't need as much light. In the last couple of weeks, I've dug some old compost into the plot and started making a cold frame. I don't have enough bricks to make a brick one, or wood to make a wooden one, so I'm going to work with what I've got and get on with it. Don't saw diagonally with a handsaw, it will annoy you. Wear goggles. What's wrong with this picture? Well, for a start, I'm sawing into the direction of my foot, so that's probably not great. I don't have a vice to keep the wood stable and my blade isn't straight, resulting in wonky cuts. Anyway, make a basic box. And just rest the lid on top. You can hinge it if you want to. I'll build the bricks up the best I can and put the wooden frame on top. I'll line it with cardboard around the inside to block any gaps. There we go. Right, now for the bee hotel. Apparently there's a load of solitary bees that like a hole in the winter. So drill various holes, five to 10 mil in diameter, Attach a rain roof and install it somewhere high up and sunny. If you do this now, it's got the whole of the summer to retain heat to keep the bees warm in the winter. Sand off the holes a little so they don't hurt their wings. There we go, put mine next to the bird box. Oh, I hope they don't eat them all. Right, this plant is called Pothos, and here it is a month ago. Here it is now. But here are some smaller cuts I'm propagating. I'm going to build a stand so that the trailing plant has a bit more space and light. Let's go. Measure. Cut. sand and chisel. These came out completely wonky because I didn't saw on the inside of the line that I drew, so it added a few mil. Remember to mark where your holes are going and drill pilot holes, otherwise you'll split the wood. There we go. I learnt from this that if you paint things, they look far less wonky. Finished. Right, let's get rid of these plastic boxes. Hey, if you want to share what you're doing and growing, then definitely get in touch at seedsarefree at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.